So we want to remove the seats so it opens up the whole cabin area. We could move around and get to various points around the dash. There's four mounting points, two in the back, two in the front. We move the seats forward. Remove these plastic covers. Now we'll move the seat back. Okay, we should be able to pull the seat out. You see, that's a mounting point. No. Lead over here. have to disconnect this hood release. This is your OBD2 port. Okay, wonderful. I should take a picture of that. I gotta get a Phillips head screwdriver and take out these two screws over here. There's an electrical fitting behind here. Take this piece off here, put your foot on the brake, push the button, these two buttons.
this whole thing should come off now. Taking the radio out. Before we drop the steering column, we got to disconnect all the electrical connections going to the steering wheel. Now this panel should just pop right off. See that? This top panel should come off. And then we start disconnecting all these wires. There. I think I got everything. I'm removing this. The airbag is connected to the dash, and the airbag is bolted to the cross member. See? Getting close. electrical wiring clips all over the place. You gotta detach it. Nuts with these plastic fasteners.
take it all the way out. There's your fitting for your evaporator core and there's your heater core. <laughs> Silicone spray. So when we detach everything, it'll slide out. And they got this thing all glued together. We'll have to re-insulate this. This is all glued on. Okay, so this is your blower motor. So we could take this assembly out and keep the blower motor here. Disconnect these electrical connections. So this comes over here on this side. Then we got a fitting right over here. All right, now we just have to detach that.
There you goodness. go. There's a heater core. Okay, are you ready for the evaporator core? Not enough to get through the vent hole, but it was leaking. Start leaking right here. Wow, what's all this? A lot of leakage. You see this gooey stuff? That was probably the sealant that we put in there. I wonder if the O-ring failed and then was leaking from here. have to line this up with these pins. Well, here we go. This one's in. Looks like it wants to come together. Oh, there we go. I think we got it. Two, three pins. All right, now we can start screwing it back together. You got these little helper clips. If we could get this off, there's one, two. Find one that matches. That one goes to that. That one goes to that. Okay. So we take some compressor oil and lubricate the O-rings.
see that foam got it's on the contact surfaces of the metal All right, so we can secure this with aluminized tape, a strip, and then we'll put new foam tape around the perimeter. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Greater the adversity, the higher the achievement. There. Yeah, that looks like the right size. There, yeah, I got it. Okay, now we're going to push the uh, evaporator and the whole housing back in. When we put this back in, we gotta connect, we gotta angle it in so we connect it to the uh, blower motor housing. And there's also a, oh yeah, see that? That's your vent tube down there. We gotta get that going. We got a mounting point here, here, and here. And we gotta angle it in so it connects to the blower motor housing. There. Now we gotta lift this up. We loosen up the brackets on the heater hoses so that uh, we can maneuver the tube around a little bit through the firewall hole. Over here. Then we have this one down here. Okay, now we'll go to the engine compartment. And I can take this, attach it. I have to line it up with the existing grooves, which would be right there. Now we should be able to push this in. Where's that bracket? And that's it for the firewall side.
right there. Placing the high pressure and low pressure service valves. You pull on this ring, you push down, and then you let go. Then you turn it clockwise to open the valve inside the service port. Now we're connecting the yellow line, the vacuum pump, which will create suction and pull the suction from the blue line, which is connected to the low pressure service valve. Now to open it, we go counterclockwise. I'll tell you, if you had a leak, it'd be, it'd be going down right now.